All right, man. I know a lot of people are gonna have an opinion, a new opinion on uh Tyson Fury after he had a, a questionable or close decision with Francis and Ganu. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase the chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. You know, a lot of people are gonna say, Well, you know, Usyk is, is, is gonna destroy him and Usyk gonna do this. Usyk and, and Ganu are two different fighters, you know what I'm saying? And we know Tyson Fury is one of the more inconsistent. Um, we know Tyson Fury is one of the more inconsistent performers in boxing. It's hard to see Fury string off three really good performances and three great performances in a row. He's very erratic and unpredictable in his performance, especially putting him especially putting him in the mixed martial arts realm. You know what I'm saying? Especially putting him in the mixed martial arts realm. Um, you know, so it didn't really surprise me. Um, it really didn't surprise me that this fight was close. It was going to be close or whatever it was, because, you know, he just, you know, Fury's inconsistent. He's always been, you know, one minute he got a foot in boxing. Next minute he got two foot in box, two feet in boxing. The next minute he got no feet in boxing. He want to retire. So, you know, once you see a, see a, hear a fighter start talking about just money, 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 he used to be a fighter that talk about legacy and fuck the money. You know what I'm saying? The money mess up, every, almost mess up everything when it comes to mindset of a fighter. And I think he got comfortable. I think possibly already signing a contract. To fight Alexander Usyk kind of, you know, you know, kind of gave him some bad karma here. But, um, you know, I, I just think you got to erase what you've seen here with uh, Fury and Nganu going into the Usyk fight unless there is some injury that we don't know about. Now, apparently Usyk ain't 100 percent. And he kind of said that in a video I did based on the article that I read. He basically saying he'll be all right. He's still training every day. And Eddie Hearn basically said that Usyk is injured, not Eddie Hearn do uh do have a, a con do have a bone to pick with that fight he wanted to do you and kind of being december 23rd then all of a sudden fury and Usy get done for december 23rd all right so then that pushes him off that date um so then now he got to push his fight back to january but you know Usy did kind of admit that he does have some injuries going on right now but he's willing to work through the injuries from the Daniel the boys fight but this don't really change my opinion on um this really don't change my opinion on um, Usyk and Fury. You know, this was a play-play fight. I think maybe uh, Fury didn't take it uh, serious and didn't take Ngannou serious or whatever it may be. But this is for undisputed, and I think he ties or breaks the Muhammad Ali record uh, for a lineal or for regaining or you know gaining the lineal title over again. So um, that's something to look at. That's something to look at. So, you know, that's one thing to look at that, uh, you know, they gain it. Then you got to remember, too, the uh, – you got to remember, too, that, you know, uh, it wasn't a real fight. Even if Fury lost, he wouldn't – you know, he wouldn't have lost anything. So, you know, when you, when you got undisputed on the line, I think Fury come back bigger, better, stronger. I think you're going to see a different type of Fury just based off the series of the fight. He also kind of showed, you know – you know, been disrespecting Alexander Usyk, saying he was on pits and saying that he's a blown up heavyweight and all that type of stuff. So, um, you know, uh, you know, um, and, and kind of been seeming real kind of feminine, emotional towards Alexander Usyk. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, You know, but it's just a different thing. I mean, Ongano probably got way Usyk by what? By by probably by 50, 40 or 50 pounds. So that's just a different animal. That weight matters when you get up there. That's why they got weight classes. You know what I'm saying? That's why they got weight classes. So uh they just two different people. I think Ongano got longer reach. You know, I think a guy who got longer reach in the whole the whole nine. 
So, you know, just because, you know, uh, Fury struggled versus Ngannou and uh, don't mean that Usyk will struggle versus Ngannou. You know, styles make fights, you know, and don't mean Fury won't beat Alexander Usyk. So boxing is boxing. You can't really go by the by by parallels. You know what I'm saying? You can't cross match up. You can't do none of that. You know, you gotta go, you gotta go by, you know, you know, them actually getting the fights on. And just because Alexander, you know, just because Francis Ngannou had a bunch of success in the exhibition doesn't mean that Tyson Fury wouldn't have a bunch of, you know, I mean, Usyk would. Now, I know a lot of people already said, well, Usyk would kill him. And Usyk would do this and do that. Well, I was saying that from the beginning. One of the issues with Tyson Fury being 6'9", 6'8", whatever he is, he can't see the punches coming from a lot of those shorter opponents. And I think when I first started to see that and process it, it was versus Otto Wallin. And Otto Wallin was crutching down on his back on his back leg. And he was springing forward and tearing Tyson Fury ass up. That's another performance in which he got the benefit of the doubt. You know, it's another performance he got the benefit of what a doubt in. And Nganu was doing the same thing. And Danu was crouching down. And Danu, Nganu was, you know, uh, crouching down. And, and Nganu was, you know, kind of hiding his punches and popping up. And Fury couldn't see them shots coming from below him. So Fury struggled versus shorter heavyweights. Guys that's, you know, eye to eye with him, he dominates them. And I noticed that. Remember Steve Cunningham dropped him with an overhand left or right, whatever it was, overhand right. He can't see them punch. He can't see them punches coming. You know, he can't see them punches coming. So, you know, it don't it didn't really it didn't really surprise me. Uh, you know, when he fought in Ngannou, what surprised me was Ngannou's skills. That's what surprised me was Ngannou's skills. You know, so I, I was, I was, I was, I was greatly surprised by his skill set. But you know, just because, you know, just because, uh. You know, Ngannou did it. You know, Fury, not uh, Usyk, not as big as Ngannou. Usyk, not as powerful as Ngannou. So just because Ngannou did it don't mean, and he's not a, a real true professional fighter, don't mean that, you know, um, Tyson, and don't mean that Usyk is going to do it. So, you know, cross matchups really, really matter. And we know how inconsistent Tyson Fury is. I think Tyson Fury going to be very determined to show what happened when Ngannou was a fluke. And he probably going to fight Usyk. If you don't have to rematch Usyk, he probably going to turn around and um, try to do an Ngannou rematch. So it's going to be a bunch of money in the rematch. You know, he probably going to try to do a bunch of money at the, for the rematch. So we'll see. So... No, but uh, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna have any bearing on Usyk. As long as Fury didn't get injured or anything like that, um, I don't really think it's much to worry about. I think you erase the exhibition out your mind. Um, yeah, I think you erase the exhibition out your mind and keep it moving. I think that's exactly what got to happen. You got to race that exhibition out your mind and keep it moving. So I think that's kind of where, where we're at with it. I think you're going to see a totally different Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usi. That's what I think. But, um, but yeah, you gotta race this one out your mind. I think Fury come in great shape. They got what, a couple months away. As long as he ain't faced no no real injuries, I know he got cut a little bit in this fight, so I don't know if that's gonna have any bearing on him moving forward. But um, but um, but yeah, you know, I you kind you kind of got to erase what you've seen here. Um, you know, you kind of got to erase what you've seen here. Um, 
So that's my whole thing about it. I race what you kind of seen here. And um, I think you're going to turn around and get one of the best Tyson Furies that you can find. So, yep, that's my opinion on it, man. I think that, uh, you know, he'll be on a clean slate as long as there ain't no injuries. Um, when he going to uh, Usyk, if they truly do fight December 21st. So, that's my opinion. But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all our notifications. Increase the notifications. We get live, go live and drop video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo. CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. All that's in the link tree. Also in the link tree, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, um, Twitch, Instagram, Kick, uh, the whole nine. Don't forget to check out my new channel, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89. That link's in the link tree in the description. Check out my Detroit channel, Mercy Sports Talk. That link is in the description and in the link tree. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.